All right, in this video, I'll show you how to use Canva AI Image Creator to design a Memoji to represent yourself. Uh, this is all about symbolism, so we'll throw some props and stuff in there. The first thing I want you to do is take a look at this prompt. All right, a, a prompt is something that you input into this AI tool, and based on that input, it's going to give you an output of what you're looking for. All right, so the better the input, the better the output, the more accurate the output would be. So this is pretty specific down here. We're going to go ahead and copy this. All right, highlight it, hit Control C. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Canva and we are going to make our Memoji. All right, so we're going to create a new design. I would make it 750 by 750. That's a nice square image. And then from there, what we're going to do is go to Elements and down here to AI Image Generator. Go ahead and hit that plus, and it's going to ask for five plus words. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control V, which is going to paste in that prompt that we gave you, and you're going to change anything in parentheses, and you're going to uh, take the parentheses and stuff out. You could delete that. You could leave the parentheses. It doesn't matter. It will still be able to reach it. So what I'm going to do is fill this out real quick. And I'll be right back. All right, so I went through here and I changed uh, the prompt to fit myself. So I'm a male, brown and gray hair. Got to respect the grays because those are experiences and, uh, you know, moments that I, I earned those gray hairs. All right, we have hazel eyes, athletic build, and so on and so forth. Down here, we got into what I enjoy, which I'm a technology teacher podcast studio background, microphones, earphones, uh, those types of things. You want to make sure that you leave everything at the end, ultra-realistic Memoji style, 3D render, photo, anime, illustration, because that's going to help with your output. When you're done there, you hit generate image. All right. When you generate image, it's going to come up with four different options for you. You can choose from those options. Uh, here's a whole bunch here. Uh, this is holding a microphone. This is a microphone at the side. I kind of like this one. So I'll put that there as an option. Uh, and then kind of like this one as well. The microphone's a little weird. Uh, so I think I'm going to delete that one now that I look at it. And let's take a look at this one. So it has a bunch of computers behind me. Uh, that might work for me, but I'm going to just stick with this one because it's simplistic. If you want to generate more like this, you could go there and hit generate more like this. It's going to come up with more options. When you're done, make sure you choose the one that kind of represents you. Uh, obviously, if you're after more of a background with more stuff in there, make your prompt suggest that. Uh, so in the background, include and then kind of list those things that will help you get more in the background that's going to represent you and might symbolize the things that you like. Uh, I think I like this one uh, a little better, but there's glasses, so I don't get that. Um, if I wanted something very simplistic there and make me look about 10 years older, I could go there. But I'm going to stick with this first one. That's going to be my Memoji that represents me. I hope this was helpful, and I hope uh, you have an awesome project.